Hey -o. Thought I'd do a little farm tour. This is where I've been working for the past two years, uh, twice a month, sometimes three times a month. So sometimes I'll work six days a week, sometimes seven days a week if it's snowing a lot. But uh, these are some of the older goats. She's about eight years old. This is the, the only boy that's here. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, he wants to fight. See his little horns? Eh, he won't. Yeah, I don't think he'll let me get behind him. But yeah, oh, there you go. You can kind of see it right there. That's his girlfriend. These are some of his other girlfriends, because that's how it is. They've been having babies because it is spring, after all. Hey, guys. These are last year's uh, babies, uh, the yearlings, the ones that didn't get sold. And then we'll go look at the really small babies. Oh, the really small babies. The even smaller babies are inside. Yeah, there's one boy in there. I forget which one he is. Some more girls. Oh, sorry guys, didn't mean to startle you. This is the milking platform. That's the machine that uh, makes the suction and the bellows. This is where their uh, head gets cranked in right here. <laughs> These are all the tools that I use. It's the most clutch shovel ever created. The aluminum shovel. This is where the food's at. You get milked twice a day. And you get fed some grain twice a day and they munch on hay all day long. My buddy Dan and I stacked all this hay over the summertime. A guy came out here with a uh, tractor trailer. We popped up the uh, like the TV wire or the power wire out here and he backed up right in this dirt driveway. Put it on a little uh, elevator and stacked it. It's pretty high. I can actually go up there. This barn is uh, was built sometime around the Civil War. It's pretty cool. These are my wheelbarrows. It's a, it's a really old school operation. The, the metal wheelbarrow carries more. The green one's lighter. This is my lawn path. I'll tell you a little secret. Last year I was working here, a guy came with his tractor, cleared pretty much almost all of this. But you see, this is just the first hump. There's the second hump, and then there's the bottom. That's the bottom. This is probably, eh, I don't know, maybe 15, 17 feet from there, uh, height-wise. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But I like to keep it far away from the house. Or from my boss lady's house. So I was just talking with her today, and I was asking her if she'd let me use some of her property to grow some vegetables. So on the other side of this fence, see where the red barn is at? Not there, but on the other side of that fence right there. Once the snow starts to melt, I think I'm gonna try and grow some, I don't know what I'm gonna try and grow over there, but I'm definitely gonna rent a tiller and start growing. Should be pretty good. I'll get this locked up so the I don't know, five million dogs can get out into the road or into the burrs. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much a, been here for probably like, I don't know, five or six hours, had lunch, talked about getting permission for another landowner in the area for uh, turkey hunting, because it's coming up pretty quick in the uh, month after next, so like around end of April, beginning of May. So that should be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm really excited, especially excited to do some growing, although the sun's uh, coming out and everything's melting. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the farm tour video, and uh, I'll let you know how my uh, shenanigans go go uh, go going forward. So, all right, cool. Thanks for watching.